Praise the Lord, saints. Bwana Yesu asifiwe atakatifu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu Hallelujah. But this is the day in which the Lord has made. Hii ni siku Bwana Yesu ameiumba. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Tufurahi. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Tumshukuru. Asante Yesu. For God is truly a good God. Mungu kweli ni Mungu mwema sana. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm Elder Cosmin E. Sims. Na mimi ni Mama Felicia Buke Sims. And we are of Jesus Friends Restoration Ministry. Ministry. Praise God. Amen. It's a pleasure to be before God's people today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God. Hallelujah for the beautiful testimonies that we received during the week. Mungu ni mwema tunashukuru Mungu sana kwa shughuli tulizokuwa tunazipata wiki iliyoisha. Of the sick being healed. Wa wagonjwa wanaponywa. Hallelujah. Victories in the hospital, very surgeries. Ushindi kwenye hospitali, wanyapaswaji. Of the word of God. Ya neno la Mungu. Hallelujah. Tunampasibana sana. Hallelujah. And God weaning his people from the milk to the meat. Na Mungu anazidi kuwa kwa sogeza watu wake kutoka kwenye maziwa ya watoto wachanga kwenda kwenye nyama ya watu waliokomaa katika neno concerning the word of god kuhusiana na neno la Mungu hallelujah thank you jesus asante yesu hallelujah they are all the bad news in the world katika taarifa zote mbaya tunazisikia duniani hapa are all the negative things that you hear around majanga mengi tunasikia hapa kila siku kwenye taarifa za habari there is good news kuna taarifa njema habari njema Yes, you go high. And you said where is he? Unasema yuko wapi? Hallelujah, he is in me. Yuko ndani yangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not by his power, not by his might, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Anasema sio kwa nguvu, wala kwa mamlaka yoyote, bali ni kwa roho yake, asema Bwana. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Faith coming by him. Imani inakuja kwa kusikia. And hearing by the word of God. Na kusikia neno la Mungu. We're going to go right to our lesson. Tutaingia kwenye somo moja kwa moja. And our lesson today is. Somo la leto ni la leo linasema. Hallelujah. Keeping Jesus. Kumtunza Yesu, kutunza uwepo wa Yesu. Hallelujah. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Neno lako nimelificha ndani yangu nisikutende na mimi. Hallelujah. I we sing a song I need thee. Lord I need thee every Tunaimba hour wimbo. I need thee. Amen. Tunaimba wimbo Yesu na kuhitaji vivyo kila saa. Bless me now my savior. Niwezeshe mwokozi. I come to thee. Na kuja mbele zako. Hallelujah. Jesus said himself. Himself. Hallelujah. I, you can do nothing without me. Yesu amesema hatuwezi kufanya lolote bila yeye. We need Jesus. Tunamhitaji Yesu. Our loved ones need Jesus. Wana wapendwa wetu wanamhitaji Yesu kuliko wanavyoelewa. The world need Jesus. Ulimwengu unamhitaji Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. He said be a, he said the world don't have nothing on me but be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Anasema ulimwengu huu hauna chochote cha kushtaki bali tuwe na furaha kuu kwa sababu ameushinda ulimwengu. Jesus. Asante Yesu. We need Jesus. Tunamhitaji Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the, the lesson today is keeping Jesus. We're going to start with 2 Corinthians 7 and 1. Tutaanza somo letu na Wakorinto wa pili sura ya saba mstari wa kwanza. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm going to let you read first. Amen. Nitasoma katika jina la Bwana. Basi wapenzi wangu kwa kuwa tuna ahadi hizo na tujitakase nafsi zetu na uchafu wote wa mwili na roho huku tukitimiza utakatifu katika kumcha Mungu. Translate for him these scriptures. Hallelujah. Uh, to remind you hallelujah as how to walk as a child of god maandiko haya yanatukumbusha jinsi ya kuenenda kama watoto wa mungu how to walk hallelujah in the holy ghost kutembea kuenenda katika roho mtakatifu and how to it's instruction on how to live as a saint ni maelekezo ya jinsi ya kuenenda kama mtakatifu second corinthians 7 and 1 it say having therefore these promises dearly beloved Let us cleanse ourselves, mm-hmm. hallelujah, yeah. from all filthiness Amen. of the flesh mm-hmm. and spirit, mm-hmm. perfecting holiness mm-hmm. in the fear of God. Hallelujah. Let us hallelujah. clean, let us sanctify ourselves. Ana maanisha tujitakase, tujiweke wakfu, tujitakase. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Let us clean ourselves. Let us be let us walk with clean minds. Yaani tutembee katika ufahamu uliotakaswa. Amen. Amen. For all filthiness of the flesh, not some but all. Sio baadhi, bali uchafu wote ule. Wa and the spirit. Na roho. And the spirit. Na wa roho. Because the spirit, the Lord say, 
when he come back, he wants us to be without spot or blemish. Kwa sababu Bwana amesema atakaporudi anataka tukute tusiwe na mawa wala kasoro yoyote ile. Amen. He want he want your garments clean. Anataka nguo zako ziwe safi. Your holy garment, your body, how it need to be clean. Yaani mwili wako uwe msafi, roho yako iwe safi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Kukamilisha ule utakatifu katika hofu ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, no matter what your occupation is, well, no matter what craft you have, whatever job you have. Hallelujah. You want to perfect it to the point that you have no difficulty doing it. You have no problem even teaching someone uh, uh, how to utilize. Yaani hajalishi uko kwenye fani gani katika kazi yako, unataka ufanye kazi kwa ufanisi kiasi kwamba yani hata ukimfundisha mtu anaona wewe uko mkamilifu kabisa kwenye ile kazi. And you do all this in the fear of God. Na tunafanya yote haya tunayoishi katika hofu ya Mungu. The whole conclusion of the matter. Mwisho wa swala hili Hallelujah. It's the fear of God and keep his commandments. Ni kumwogopa Mungu na kutii amri zake. Amen. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. First Peter 1:13. Tukienda waraka wa pili wa Petro. Ah sura ya kwanza mstari wa 15. We're translating in Swahili as well because we have a lot of saints, a lot of people of God that are listening to the word, that are studying the word. And God has prepared a table for all cuz he said what I say to one I say to all. Anasema tuna tafsiri kwa Kiswahili kwa sababu kuna watakatifu pia ambao wanatufuatilia. Hii ni lugha yao na Bwana amesema anachosema kwa mmoja anasema kwa wote. Amen. Amen. So he came to none be lost and that all might be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Amekuja ili watu wote wasipotee bali wa, wa kombolewa na ile kweli ya injili. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. Asante kwa neno lako Bwana. Okay, I want you to read uh, first Peter 13. Waraka wa kwanza wa Petro sura ya kwanza mstari wa 13. Nitasoma katika jina la Bwana. Thank you Lord. Just start with 13 and I want to expand on. Mhm. Nitasoma. Kwa hiyo vifungeni viuno vya nia zenu na kuwa na kiasi mkitumainia kwa utimilifu ile neema mtakayo letewa katika ufunuo wake Yesu Kristo Wherefore gird up the loins of your mind and be sober and hope to the end for the grace mm-hmm. that is to be brought unto you mm-hmm. at the revelation of Jesus Christ gird up the loins of your mind be strong have, have be focused hallelujah be sober be be awake hallelujah to what's going on in your environment what's going on in the church what's going on concerning the signs and wonders of his coming yani kuwa macho kuwa makini kuwa kuwa ukiwa mwangalifu ukiangalia dalili zilizo kuzunguka katika mazingira yako mambo yanayoendelea katika kanisa siku ya leo nini kinaendelea katika siku hizi za mwisho hallelujah unto uh, at the revelation of Jesus Christ hallelujah <clears throat> the word hallelujah god is going to give you understanding he's going to he's going to open your understanding to whatever you need hallelujah concerning this gospel concerning his return yani bwana atakufunulia katika yote yale unayohitaji kuhusiana na yeye kurudi kwake katika maisha yako wewe and keeping jesus these are examples of what we need to do not you but we katika kumtunza yesu hii ni baada ya mifano ya mambo yale ambayo tunapaswa kufanya sisi wote sio tu wewe atuzumzie tu wewe peke yako bali hata sisi pia tunaonywa Please read verse 14 through 16 Itasoma 14 pa 16 katika jina la Bwana kama watoto wa kutii msijifananishe na tamaa zenu za kwanza za ujinga wenu bali kama yeye aliyewaita alivyo mtakatifu ninyi nanyi iweni watakatifu katika mwenendo wenu wote. Kwa maana imeandikwa mtakuwa watakatifu kwa kuwa mimi ni mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Peter uh, uh, chapter 1 verses 14 through 16 mm-hmm. the scriptures telling us to hallelujah to as obedient children mm-hmm. not fashion ourselves as the world. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Being as the world being caught up in the lust of the flesh mm-hmm. and the pride of life mm-hmm. that the world does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah and then God that God called you to be holy be holy for it is written be holy for he is holy. Yeah, Amen. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Continue. 
Okay. Waraka kwanza wa Petro inatueleza kwamba 13 hiyo 18 mpaka 16. Tunaonywa kwamba tusienende sawa sawa na ulimwengu huu katika mambo ya kidunia, mambo ya dhambi, mambo yasiyompendeza Mungu bali tumeamriwa ni amri iweni watakatifu kama ambavyo yeye Mungu ni mtakatifu. Amen. It's keeping Jesus. You got be as Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You got walk like Jesus. You got to talk like Jesus. Amen. You got live like Jesus. Tunapata kuongea kama Yesu, tuishi kama Yesu, tutembee kama Yesu, tufanye yote yale kulingana na Yesu alivyotuonesha mfano. You got to pray like Jesus. Tunatakiwa tuombe kama Yesu. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Just to be like Jesus. Hallelujah. Yani kama Yesu. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Said, Lord children keep yourself from idols. Hallelujah. This is an example of keeping yourself. Yaani mfano tumeambiwa watoto wadogo na ndiko limeandikwa watoto wadogo kaeni mbali na ibada ya sanamu. Humble yourself in the sight of God and he will lift you up. Hallelujah. Yenyekeze mbele za Mungu naye atakuinua. James uh, 4 and 10. Yakobo 4:10. Hallelujah. Let's go to Ma- uh, Luke 9:23. Kama alivyosema sijafungua hiyo Yakobo. Luke and 23 read that please. Luka 9 mstari wa 23 nitasoma katika jina la Bwana. Akawaambia wote mtu yeyote akitaka kunifuata na ajikane mwenyewe ajitwike msalaba wake kila siku anifuate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Luke 9 and 23 and he said unto them all. Mhm. If any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily mm. and follow me. Mm. The, if any man, hallelujah, not some. He said to all, if any man will come after me, will serve me, let him deny himself. Hallelujah. Mm. And pick up his cross and follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. Follow me. Amen. Yaani hapa anawaambia mtu yeyote sio baadhi mtu yeyote akitaka kumfuata ye Yesu inabidi ajikane ye mwenyewe kila siku yaji ajidhili kuna vitu labidi ajizuie kumfuata Yesu hallelujah hallelujah this is all a part of keeping Jesus hii ni sehemu katika kule kumtunza Yesu kumtunza ndani yetu maisha ni mwetu amen kuna vitu natakiwa kufanya Matthew 20 Matthew 10 and 37 and 30 Hey, I would like you to read those two please. Okay. Nitasoma Mathayo 10:37 na 38. Nitasoma katika jina la Bwana. Thank you Jesus. Apendaye baba au mama kuliko mimi hanistahili. Wala apendaye mwana au binti kuliko mimi hanistahili. Wala mtu asiyechukua msalaba wake akanifuata hanistahili. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew Ten and thirty-seven and thirty-eight. Mm-hmm. Jesus is saying, mm-hmm. "Hallelujah! He that loveth the father, loveth loveth father or mother mm-hmm. more than me, mm-hmm. is not worthy of me." Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! You, he, he telling you to deny yourself, deny everything, and follow him. He's saying, if you can't do that, you're not worthy to be with him. Yani anasema hapa kwenye msala thina nane, ukipenda hao ndugu zaidi. Yaani kuna kuna wakati unatakiwa umpendeze hao watu au umpendeze Mungu. Kwa hiyo ukitaka kuwapenda hao zaidi kuliko Mungu, ustahili kumfuata. If you can for say hallelujah your mother, father, sister, brother for his name sake you are worthy of of him. Yaani anasema ukishindwa uki kumwacha baba, mama, kaka, dada basi wewe wewe humstahili bwana Yesu. And you can you you disqualify yourself as a candidate for heaven. Na umeshakwisha utakuwa umekwisha kujiondolea wewe vigezo vya kustahili kuingia mbinguni. Na kuna maandiko lingine linasema haustahili ufamu wa mbinguni. Praise God. Hallelujah. Matthew 19 and 29. Mathayo 19:29. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Tusome katika jina la Bwana. Na kila mtu aliyeacha nyumba au ndugu wa kiume au wa kike au baba au mama au watoto au mashamba kwa ajili ya jina langu atapokea mara mia na kuurithi uzima wa milele Praise the Lord hallelujah Wanaisha sifiwe hallelujah Matthew 19 and 29 it says and everyone that have forsaken house mm-hmm. and brethren and sisters or mm-hmm. fathers and mothers or wives or children or lands mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. for my name's sake, the Lord said, right. shall receive an hundredfold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And shall inherit everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. Asante, yes. Hallelujah. Yani hapa amesema, mtu atakai acha yote haya kwa jili yake yeye atapata maramia. So the word of God say, see that you receive a full reward. Hallelujah. A reward for what? For living holy. Thawabu ya nini? Ya kuhishi kwa utakatika. For being obedient unto the Lord. Kwa kuwa mti katika buwana. For buwana. being fa- a faithful servant unto the Lord. Ya kuwa mtumishi mwaminifu katika buwana. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And, 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 and also, hallelujah, and keeping his word. Hallelujah. Na kutunza neno lake. Kuti neno lake. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Being a good steward of being a keeper of his temple the holy ghost kwa mtunzaji mwema wa hekalu lake la holy la roho mtakatifu ambalo ni mimi like the scripture say do you know that your body is the temple of the holy ghost where god dwell kama maandiko yalivyosema je tunajua sisi ni hekalu la roho mtakatifu ambapo roho wa mungu anaishi if we defile God's temple, God said according to his word, he will destroy you neno lake linasema atakaye haribu hekalu la roho mtakatifu hekalu la mungu Mungu naye atamharibu. And we know that God don't dwell in no unclean temple. Na tunajua Mungu haishi katika hekalu zilizokuwa safi. So it's important that hallelujah that we understand what uh, that we have to keep how we have to keep Jesus, how we have to keep the Holy Spirit. Inabidi tuwe makini jinsi tunaweza kumtunza Roho Mtakatifu. How we are to carry ourselves as becoming saints. Hallelujah. Jinsi tunapopaswa kuenenda kama watakatifu. Hallelujah. I want you to re- repeat after what I say in Swahili. Mm-hmm. It say, but ye beloved. Anasema nirudia kama anavyosema kwa Kiswahili. Je, ninyi wapendwa? Build up yourself on your most holy faith. Mkajijenge katika imani yenu iliyo takatifu. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Mkiomba katika Roho Mtakatifu. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Mkijitunza katika upendo wa Mungu. Looking for mercy and hallelujah looking for the mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ unto eternal life mkiangalia mkitumainia mkiangalia zile rehema za za bwana yesu katika repeat that last sentence hallelujah yes, hallelujah looking for the mercy mm. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ unto eternal life Mkiziangalia zile rehema za Bwana wetu na mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristu katika uzima wa milele. So I'm building up my faith in Christ. Hivyo ninajijenga imani yangu katika Kristo. And keeping Christ I'm building up my faith in Christ. Katika kumtunza Yesu ninajenga ile imani yangu katika yeye. Another attribute is to pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Spirit. Na njia moja wapo ni kuomba katika Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. To keep yourself, keep yourself in the love of God. Kujitunza wewe katika upendo wa Mungu. Amen. Because we have the spirit of love. Kwa sababu tuna moyo wa upendo. Hallelujah. Amen. And the spirit of love is the spirit of Christ. Na moyo wa upendo ni moyo wa Kristo. God is love. Mungu ni upendo. Hallelujah. Looking for the hallelujah the mercies of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Tukiangalia katika zile rehema za Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. For he promises us new mercies every day. Kwa maana ametuahidi and rehema na neema mpya kila siku. And hallelujah and uh, hallelujah and our hope hallelujah and looking for him looking as unto eternal life the return to heaven with him. Tukiangalia tukitegemea kwa tumaini tukimwangalia yeye kwa tumaini tukitegemea kurudi naye mbinguni. And to be with him forever. Na kuwa naye milele. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Acts 2 and 40 through 42 please. Matendo ya mitume 2:40 mpaka 42. Nitasoma katika jina la Bwana. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Akawashuhudia kwa maneno mengine mengi sana na kuwaonya akisema jiokoeni na kizazi hiki chenye ukaidi. Nao wali read all through. Yes please. Nao walipo lipokea neno lake wakabatizwa na siku ile wakaongezeka watu wapata elfu tatu wakawa wakihudumu katika wakidumu katika fundisho la mitume na katika ushirika na katika kumega mkate 
na katika kusali Peter on the day of Pentecost Petro siku siku ya Pentecost after he gave them hallelujah the plan of salvation baada ya kuwapa mpango jinsi ya kuokoka to repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost kutubu na kubatizwa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kutubu kwa jiko kutubu kwa ajili ya ondoleo la dhambi wabatizo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya ondoleo la dhambi na watapokea Roho Mtakatifu assure that the promises unto you and your children and so many the Lord God shall call for a far off yaani hii ni ahadi ambao wa, watu wamepewa wa mataifa wa mbali na wa karibu haleluya but he said these words also akasema maneno haya pia and he said acts 2 and 40 akasoma nilio soma matendo ya mitume 2:40 and he said he exalted with other words he said save yourself from this untoward generation akasema akawaambia wajiokoe na kizazi hiki chenye ukaidi right now we we are in an evil time sasa hivi tuko kwenye nyakati za uovu sana the bible tells us not to forsake the assembly of ourselves in the house of god for the days are evil neno la mungu linatuambia tusiache kukusanyika katika nyumba za 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 kuabudu kwa maana hizi nyakati ni ovu and hallelujah and timothy second timothy the third chapter it talks about these being perilous times na ukiangalia waraka wa kwanza wa timothy 2:5 second timothy third chapter ah wakati waraka wa kwanza wa timotheo sura ya tatu inazungumzia jinsi ambavyo hizi ni nyakati za mateso za maangaiko times, ni nyakati za maangaiko but in keeping ourselves unto the lord tunapojihifadhi katika bwana he holy the good shepherd that he is mchungaji mwema jinsi ambavyo yeye alivyo through his holy spirit through the holy ghost he's continuing to lead us and guide us kupitia roho mtakatifu anaendelea kutulinda na kutuongoza he's continuing to order our stuff anaendelea kuongoza tu zetu haleluya haleluya he that let will let least you be taken out of the way ili mtu asije akapotea katika njia don't let the don't let the enemy don't let the devil take you out of the the way of christ usiruhusu adui akakuondoa katika njia ya kristo Amen. Amen. And there's a way and it's the way of holiness. Kuna njia tunapaswa kuenenda na njia hiyo ni ya utakatifu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he says save yourself from this untoward generation. Amesema jiokoeni na kizazi hiki kiovu. And in 41 verse 41 it says mm-hmm. then they gladly receive mm-hmm. the word and were baptized and the same day there were three hallelujah added unto them about 3000 souls. Yaani mstari um, wa 41 kwa Kiingereza inasema walipokea kwa furaha maneno haya na wakabatizwa. The man of God gave them the plan of salvation. Mtumishi wa Mungu aliwapa mpango wa kuokoka. He gave them hallelujah word of exhortation about saving themselves. Akawapa maneno ya kuwaonya na kuwapa moyo ujinsi wa jiokoe na receive the word of God with gladness. Wakapokea neno lile kwa furaha. They were baptized in Jesus name about 2000 souls. Wakabatizwa kwa jina la Yesu yaani nafsi karibu elfu tatu. Hallelujah and in keeping hallelujah Jesus na katika kumtunza Yesu the acts two of of 2 and 42 it said and they continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine, doctrine and fellowship and breaking bread hallelujah and in prayer this is what you need to do the hallelujah and keeping Jesus in your life mstari wa 42 tunaelekezwa nini cha kufanya ili tumtunze Yesu ndani yetu yani wakawa wakidumu katika kufundisho la mitume na katika ushirika na katika kuumega mkate na katika kusali Praise the Lord Praise Hallelujah Praise the Lord Hallelujah Hallelujah uh, I want to go to 1 Corinthians 9 and 26 through 20, uh, 27 Amen I'll cut off when I get ready Amen 1 okay. Corinthians 9 Yeah 1 Corinthians 9 26 We're going to do two parts today Tuta tutaweka ili soma katika sehemu mbili But uh, at, at this time we want to continue on this particular lesson and, and then I'll conclude part 1. Amen. Tutamalizia alafu tutaanza sehemu ya 1 Corinthians 9:26 through 27. Hallelujah. Tutasoma katika jina la Bwana. 
hata mimi napiga mbio vivyo hivyo si kama asitae napigana ngumi vivyo hivyo si kama apigae hewa bali na utesa mwili wangu na kutumikisha isiwe nikiisha kuahubiri wengine mwenyewe niwe mtu wa kukataliwa 1 Corinthians 9:26 I therefore so run not as uncertainly so fight I mm-hmm. not as one that beateth the air mm-hmm. you know the race isn't given to the swift mm-hmm. nor the strong but he that endure to the end the same shall be saved Aliambiwa azijapewa yule mwenye haraka, mwenye ukimbia haraka, bali imepewa ushindi wale wenye nguvu. Yule atakayevumilia mpaka mwisho ndiye atakayeshinda. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to get that prize. Utapata ile tuzo. God is not slack when concerning hallelujah or uh, his word or or his reward or your faithfulness and how he's going to reward you for your faithfulness. Mungu hawezi kubadilisha mawazo, hawezi kugairi kuhusu ahadi zake. Hallelujah. hallelujah. But keep your hallelujah. It says but I keep under my body. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah and bring it into subjection. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Least that by any means mm-hmm. when I have preached to others. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. I myself uh, uh I myself come a castaway. Yes. Or should be a castaway. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, keep control of your body. Mm, yani kutawala mwili wako. You know, keep the word of God say gird up your pure mind. Neno la Mungu linasema yani ukamate fahamu zako, fahamu yako iliyotakasika. Again to be sober mind. Kuwa na akili iliyotimama. Hallelujah. To to walk in holiness. Kutembea katika utakatifu. Hallelujah. To uh, to obey the instructions of the Lord with fear and trembling. Hallelujah. Kutii maelekezo ya Mungu kwa hofu na kutetemeka not to be hypocritical concerning god's word kutokuwa mnafiki kuhusiana na neno la mungu how you going to tell somebody not to steal and you steal utamwambiaje mtu asiibe na wewe unaiba how you going to tell somebody not to kill and you kill utamwambiaje mtu usiue na wewe unaua how you going to preach love and you go in just as mean and mad as the devil utasemaje kuhusu upendo wakati wewe una ni mkatili kabisa kama shetani mwenyewe and in so many that are in the body of Christ that are by example are doing those things na kuna baadhi katika mwili wa Kristo wanafanya baadhi ya mambo haya and people that they praying for and laying hands on that have faith in God they being healed they being saved while that person is being lost na unaona kabisa wanatumika wanaombea watu wanapona wanatumika wana, wanafunguliwa lakini yule mtu mwenyewe amepotea. That's not keeping Jesus. Hivyo sio kumtunza Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And hallelujah. God has called us unto uh, not uncleanness, uncleanliness but holiness. Mungu ametuita sio katika uchafu bali katika utakatifu. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. This concludes part 1. Ya hapa tunamalizia sehemu ya kwanza ya somo. Jesus ya kumtunza Yesu. Hallelujah. Kumtunza Yesu. We'll, hallelujah. We'll connect with you soon. Tuta connect hivi karibuni kwa party ya pili asante. We'll be back. Tutarudi. <laughs>